After more than 50 years, humanity is on the brink of returning to the moon. This time, with the innovative partnership of NASA and SpaceX, the mission extends beyond planting flags and leaving footprints. The goal is far more ambitious, to establish a permanent base on the lunar surface. What makes this mission even more remarkable is that SpaceX intends to accomplish it using only its Starship vehicle. Not only will Starship transport astronauts to the moon, but it will also play a central role in constructing and supporting the lunar base itself. How will SpaceX bring this bold vision to life? Join me on today's episode to find out, only on Great SpaceX. In a presentation at Starbase Texas, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, outlined the company's ultimate ambition, Moon Base Alpha. This lunar base will be built using the Starship spacecraft, specifically the Human Landing System variant. The Starship HLS is designed to ferry astronauts between lunar orbit and the Moon's surface and back again. Developed as part of NASA's Artemis program under the Human Landing System contract, Starship HLS plays a pivotal role in NASA's mission to land a crew on the moon. Like its standard counterpart, the Starship HLS is 50 to 60 meters tall with a 9 meter diameter and can transport more than 100 tons to the lunar surface. Equipped with six Raptor engines, the HLS variant will utilize these powerful engines during launch, landing, and ascent phases. However, the HLS differs significantly from the standard Starship in several ways. Since it does not re-enter Earth's atmosphere, the heat shield and flight control surfaces typical of Starship are removed. This modification reduces mass, decreasing the number of refueling tanker launches required once the spacecraft reaches orbit. Additionally, without the need for re-entry systems, the methane and liquid oxygen tanks can be repurposed for other functions once the spacecraft is on the moon. Another key feature of the Lunar Starship is its white exterior, replacing the iconic stainless steel design. This change enhances thermal management crucial for surviving the extreme conditions of the lunar environment. Building the lunar landing system from an existing Starship design rather than developing a completely new system offers many advantages. NASA has emphasized that minimizing changes to the vehicle configuration and standardizing the design for the HLS will streamlined development. This approach eliminates the need for redundant testing, evaluation, and verification processes required for entirely new designs. By doing so, SpaceX can accelerate production timelines, ensuring the spacecraft is available for mission integration and deployment on schedule. With these groundbreaking adaptations, SpaceX and NASA are at the starting line in order to make history by not just visiting the moon, but establishing a lasting presence there. Then again, NASA may not yet fully appreciate the unique advantages of building a lunar habitat from SpaceX's Starship, particularly its transformation into a permanent base after serving as a lunar landing system. This ambitious concept utilizes the vehicle's entire internal volume, including its fuel tanks, to create a habitable environment. Here's how this transformation can be achieved and the innovative process behind it. Establishing a permanent lunar base demands significant infrastructure, equipment, and essential supplies for astronauts to conduct research and sustain long-term habitation. To achieve this, SpaceX proposes launching two starships to the moon. One will carry astronauts, while the other, an unmanned craft, will transport supplies. The Supply Starship will be loaded with tools, materials, systems, and provisions necessary for building and maintaining the base. Before departing Earth's orbit, both vehicles will undergo refueling in preparation for the translunar injection burn. The designated landing site is the Shackleton Crater at the Moon's South Pole. This site is ideal for a permanent lunar base due to its unique conditions. The peaks along the crater's rim receive nearly continuous sunlight, a critical feature for solar power generation. Meanwhile, the crater's interior remains in perpetual shadow, making it a potential reservoir for water ice, essential for sustaining life and generating fuel. Shackleton also offers a direct line of sight to Earth, facilitating uninterrupted communication. These advantages make it a prime location for lunar habitation. 
Upon landing, astronauts will descend to the surface using Starship's elevator system. Their initial tasks will include remotely deploying power reactors, solar panels, and radiators, as well as transferring any remaining fuel into designated storage tanks. Once these preparatory steps are completed, the process of transforming Starship into a lunar base can begin. The transformation process relies heavily on robotic assistance to minimize astronaut exposure to the moon's harsh environment. Cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and limited mobility in extravehicular activity suits pose significant challenges. Therefore, remotely operated robots will handle most construction tasks, ensuring efficiency and safety. The first major step involves positioning the Starship horizontally. This requires reducing stresses on the vehicle's body by unloading any non-essential payloads such as radiators and solar panels. These systems can be deployed outside the vehicle, reducing its mass and lowering its center of gravity. The internal volume of the tanks and payload area will be kept at minimal pressure to maintain structural integrity during the maneuver. The horizontalization process utilizes a hinge mechanism to guide the vehicle's tilt. Elevator cables will detach and anchor to support the vehicle's weight during the initial phase, while a scissor lift will transfer the load to the ground in the final stages. The vehicle will ultimately rest between two parallel ridges of piled regolith, preventing rolling and providing structural support. With the Starship positioned horizontally, the next step is to empty its fuel tanks completely. Residual fuel is vented to eliminate any risk of fire during subsequent modifications. These empty tanks, along with the cargo bay, form the foundation for the habitable areas of the base. Remarkably, converting the fuel tanks alone creates a space approximately two and a half times larger than the International Space Station's habitable volume. After cleaning the tanks to remove any remnants of fuel, construction begins with the installation of insulation and radiation shielding along the internal walls. Floors are then added to the structure, which can either feature a single expansive level with high ceilings or multiple levels nearly 3 meters high each. These design options prioritize comfort and aim to reduce the psychological stress of living in a confined space. The interior is divided into functional areas to support the astronauts' daily needs and scientific objectives. These include private and communal living quarters, complete with sleeping pods, a kitchen, and a lounge area. Scientific facilities will include a laboratory for experiments, such as growing plants without soil to establish sustainable food sources. Additionally, a small medical bay equipped for treating injuries and illnesses will be installed. Finally, cables and pipes will be laid for essential systems such as communication, electricity, ventilation, and water distribution. Despite the extensive modifications to the Starship's interior, an additional protective measure is necessary, which involves covering the base with a layer of moon rock. This is crucial for shielding against meteoroids, which pose a significant threat on the moon due to the lack of an atmosphere. On Earth, meteoroids typically burn up in the atmosphere before reaching the surface, but the moon's exposure makes it vulnerable to high-speed impacts. A 5-meter thick layer of regolith, the loose soil covering much of the lunar surface, will be applied over the base. This protective shell not only guards against meteoroid strikes, but also provides additional insulation. This innovative approach transforms the Starship HLS into a permanent lunar habitat capable of supporting long-term missions and advancing humanity's exploration of the moon. By repurposing the vehicle, SpaceX maximizes its utility, turning what would have been a single-use lander into a sustainable base. The process is efficient, cost-effective, and aligns with the overarching goals of establishing a human presence beyond Earth. Once operational, the base will provide a platform for scientific discovery, technological innovation, and preparation for future missions to Mars and beyond. Its location at the Moon's South Pole offers unparalleled opportunities for studying lunar geology, harvesting resources, and testing life support systems in a real-world extraterrestrial environment. Furthermore, the base could serve as a stepping stone for deeper space exploration, reinforcing humanity's position as an interplanetary species. In conclusion, the transformation of Starship into a lunar base represents a groundbreaking step in space exploration.
This dual-purpose vehicle not only fulfills its role as a lunar lander, but also evolves into a habitable structure, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in off-world construction and sustainability. By leveraging innovative design and robotic assistance, SpaceX is poised to redefine humanity's relationship with the moon, laying the groundwork for a future where permanent lunar habitation is a reality. Of course, in order to survive in the moon in the long term, humanity must first address the fundamental necessities, air, water, and food. The moon's atmosphere contains no oxygen, but the lunar surface is covered with a layer of sand-like material composed of metals and oxygen-rich compounds. While we typically associate oxygen with the air we breathe, significant amounts are trapped within the moon's regolith. Extracting oxygen from this material could provide astronauts with a sustainable supply of breathable air for future missions. Impressively, just 20 grams of lunar soil contains enough oxygen to keep an astronaut alive for about 20 minutes. NASA recently demonstrated the feasibility of this process at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where scientists successfully extracted oxygen from simulated lunar soil. This test validated the potential to harness oxygen directly from the moon's resources, offering a vital lifeline for human survival and even fueling future space exploration missions. While water is scarcer on the moon than on Earth, it is present, particularly in the form of ice. The lunar South Pole, where future settlements are planned, holds the highest potential for discovering ice deposits. This water will serve multiple purposes, supporting human life, enabling food production, and contributing to propulsion technology. Water will be essential for growing crops on the moon, a critical step toward establishing a sustainable food source. After purification, water can be used for drinking and daily activities, eliminating the need for astronauts to consume recycled urine as they currently do. Beyond sustaining humans, water can also be split into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis. The resulting hydrogen and oxygen can then be stored as liquid propellants for rocket engine. This capability positions the moon as a potential refueling station for missions venturing further into the solar system. Energy is another key factor for lunar sustainability, and helium-3 extraction may provide an innovative solution. Helium-3, a light and sustainable isotope of helium with two protons and one neutron, has long been considered a promising energy source for nuclear fusion. Unlike conventional nuclear reactions, helium-3 fusion produces minimal radioactive waste, making it an attractive option for clean energy. The moon's regolith contains significantly higher concentrations of helium-3 than Earth, thanks to billions of years of deposition by the solar wind. If successfully harvested, helium-3 could fuel fusion reactors, offering a sustainable and efficient energy source to power lunar bases and possibly even future Earth-based systems. Communication will also play a pivotal role in establishing a lunar base, and SpaceX's Starlink system is poised to address this challenge. Laser communication technology, which NASA has been testing since 2013, has demonstrated the ability to transmit data at record-breaking speeds between Earth and the Moon. SpaceX has integrated optical space lasers into its Starlink satellites, enabling data transmission rates of up to 200 gigabits per second. This innovation allows Starlink to create a space-based mesh network that connects remote ground locations and spacecraft without requiring nearby base stations. For example, during the Polaris Dawn mission, Starlink successfully provided high-speed internet connectivity to SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. This capability means that Starlink could establish an expansive communication network linking Earth, the Moon, Mars, and spacecraft in transit. By leveraging this infrastructure, distant outposts and missions would benefit from seamless data transfer and communication, supporting both operational needs and real-time coordination. The establishment of a lunar base is only the first step in a much broader vision. The ultimate goal is to transform the moon into a thriving outpost that serves as a launch pad for deeper space exploration. This mission isn't merely a race for national pride or technological supremacy. It's a pivotal milestone in humanity's evolution as a space-faring species. Through the extraction of oxygen and water, the development of advanced energy sources like Helium-3, and the implementation of cutting-edge communication networks like Starlink, humanity 
is laying the groundwork for sustainable living beyond Earth. Each advancement brings us closer to realizing a future where the moon is not just a stepping stone, but a cornerstone in our journey towards the stars. And with that, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.